The last law, law number five, is called the law of sequence. So sequence in marketing is super important. And what I'll say is, just like I said before, it's never been harder to sell to cold prospects. It's never been easier to sell to someone that's already bought. All right, so people that are hot, right? These are what we call our warm and hot prospects. These are people that have either joined our email list and are, and are starting to consume a lot of content from us, or they've bought before. And there's all kinds of levels of hot, right? You know, somebody that's bought everything you've ever put out, that's a smoking hot prospect. They're very likely to buy the next thing you put out. So you've got this law of sequence. And the great thing about hot prospects is that they already know, like, and trust you, right? You've given them a good value in the past, and they like you, and they like your brand, and they like the stuff that you produce, right? So, you know, they're over here with your $9 product, and they're happy, um, and so they're very likely to buy your $295 product because you did them good with this small little front-end product. But, you know, there's there's prospects on, on all of our lists that... You know, they open every email, they read every blog post, they listen to your podcast, they go to your events, they, they, you know, want, they want more from you. And those are your smoking hot prospects. Now, the problem with hot prospects is the exact opposite of what, you know, the great part about cold prospects was. There is not enough of them. You can't run your business typically just off of the hot prospects you have. You need to be out there going and going out and getting cold prospects and turning them more of them into warm and hot prospects. So there's a limited supply of these hot prospects. Now what you want to do is you want to take the existing customers you already have, use the law of sequence and say, "Hey, look, I've spent the money, the time, the energy and everything to transform this person from a cold prospect into a warm or a hot prospect. So you need to monetize that. You've got to take you've got to take the leads and customers you already have and you need to sell them more. And you need to sell them sell to them more often because they want more from you. They want more value from you. So things you can do. You can add a continuity offer or a recurring billing offer like a membership website. All right? So this is a a company in the in the baseball space and they've got a, a, a membership called the hitting vault right so add add a membership to what you're doing to monetize the warm and hot prospects you have you could add an event right it takes warm and hot prospects to fill up an event it's hard to fill up an event have somebody fly across the country and stay a couple of days with you and all that stuff you can't do that with cold prospects, but with hot prospects, you absolutely can. So if you have these warm and hot prospects, you can further, you can sell them more, give them more value by adding an event. You know, so um, Digital Marketers, uh, DMDU Connect uh, is an example of that, $797 event. Um, the people that, were, that, that, that attend these events are your warm and hot prospects. You can do things like um, big, high-ticket events, like uh, what we call mastermind events or something like that. Like this is War Room. It's $25,000 a year to be a member of War Room. Um, and you can sell that not to a cold prospect, not to somebody who doesn't know who you are. I mean, imagine somebody walking up to you and saying, hey, bro, how about you give me $25,000 this year? Um, and if you don't know that person and they don't, you don't have that know, like, and trust with them, there's no way you're going to sell these $25,000 mastermind packages. But you can absolutely do that with warm and hot prospects that already know, like, and trust you and they've already gotten value from you, uh, from other products and services that you do for them. You could add a high-dollar done-for-you service. So a lot of people will sell courses or they will sell maybe coaching. Um coaching packages or they'll do events um one way to really uh, monetize is to do it do this service whatever it is you're teaching do it for them right and charge 10 to 100 times more than you would for let's say the online course is hey i will come and do this for you right and there's all kinds of levels of i'll do this for you maybe you literally go and do it for them all the way but maybe there's some 
middle ground in there where you can add more service to your information business. And that's a way to monetize uh, existing customers. So for example, one extraordinary marriage is in the, obviously in the marriage space. And you can see this page on their site. Do you need personal help to improve your marriage? So they sell courses and they do a podcast and blog and all that stuff. But they also have a higher ticket. It's more costly. You need to work with these marriage um, you know, experts. And so you can schedule a strategy session there and start to pay them more money to get more you know, circumstantial attention, right? Because the that person's gonna be talking directly to you about your circumstances rather than you just, you know, consuming information through a course or something like that. You're gonna want to charge five, twenty, even a hundred times more than you would for an information product when you're doing services for people, done for you services. All right. So, you know, here's another example. Um, I have a product called Digital Advisor. It's uh, you know 10K for three months, so it's a high ticket thing. You know my courses uh, tend to be nine hundred ninety five dollars, and and my consulting is ten thousand um, dollars. When you're offering these higher ticket solutions, look to look to talk to them about speed or ease to results, right? So you want to talk to them about speed or ease to results. So. Here's, a, here's an email that you could send to anybody that's ever bought a course from you or ever attended any event or been on a webinar or anybody on your list. Anybody on your list, you could send this email. You could say, hey, uh, David, you bought our golf training. Or insert the name of your training. or your. Uh, you bought our golf training to give you an extra 15 yards on your drive. Did, you know, I offer in-person and virtual one-on-one -on -one coaching that will get you results quicker and easier. You see that speed? at speed and ease, right? That's what they want, will want. If they bought something from you about increasing their drive, uh, their golf drive, that means they want to increase their golf drive. And guess what? Every one of us wants to do, get those results faster. And so that's what you're selling when you're selling higher ticket stuff. You say, hey, are you interested in learning more about this one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? It's a simple email that can make you a lot of money, right? If you send this out and say, hey, you bought this thing or you attended this webinar or you read this blog post or you downloaded this lead magnet or whatever it is about in pre in increasing your drive. Would you like those results faster, quicker, easier? Uh, hire me for my one-on-one -on -one coaching, my, ex my more expensive coaching. How about this one? Samantha, you bought my book on hiring and retaining top employees in your company. I offer a service that will implement the program I teach in that book so you can get the results you want while staying focused on the responsibilities you already have. So that's more ease of results. It's like, hey, you bought the book. You're obviously interested. Did you know you can just pay me to do this for you? Right? And you could build an entire coaching, consulting business on the back of, of an email like this. So you have some easy way for somebody to buy from you and show interest. In this case, it's a book. Right? You bought my book on hiring and retaining top employees. In this case, it's a book that allowed them to dip their toes in the water. And then you turn around and you say, hey, you bought the book. Would you just like me to do this for you? All right. 